the Prime Minister is heading to two uh, pole-bound states today, Assam, and then later he will be in West Bengal. Let's find out more about his program in Assam. Let's go across to NDTV's Ratnadeep. Ratnadeep, tell us about the projects the Prime Minister will be inaugurating today. It also includes a college. That's right. In fact, this is going to be Prime Minister Narendra Modi's third visit to Assam to uh, inaugurate, uh, you know, development projects and address the people in two months. So every time Prime Minister in the last two months had travelled to Bengal, he has also travelled to Assam. Just, this just goes to show that while, you know, coming to power in Bengal is... Uh, perhaps the top in agenda in terms of the BJP, but retaining power in Assam is equally important for the party. Now, today he would be addressing a public gathering at Sila Pathar in Dhemaji district of Assam, which is in Upper Assam on the northern bank of the Brahmaputra, opposite to the Dibruga district. Now, in that meeting, he would be dedicating to the nation some key oil and gas projects, apart from also inaugurating the Dhemaji Engineering College, laying foundation stone of another engineering college and few other projects. So, all these are development projects. Remember, Upper Assam is one area which not only has tea gardens but also oil and gas reserves. This is where Oil India Limited works, this is where ONGC works and this is also where, remember, last year we saw the massive fire in a gas well, uh, well which, you know, uh, went on for months together. In fact, now uh, at Dhemaji, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is uh, uh, you know, expected to speak in terms of the development activities that have taken place in uh, Upper Assam region. Remember, Dhemaji itself is an area which remained, uh, you know, uh, underdeveloped until, uh, you know, recently when the uh, country's uh, longest railroad bridge uh, connected Dhemaji to Dibrugarh, which is a, you know, a five, uh, uh, and that is something which is seen as a success of the Modi government in terms of, uh, you know, completion of the Bogibil Bridge project, although it started during the Congress regime. But also the fact that, you know, the Congress yesterday had organized a massive, uh, you know, uh, statewide protest against fuel price rise hike. Uh, the All Assam Students Union is uh, expected to protest across the state on the uh, failure of the central government in terms of keeping its promise of implementation of Clause 6 of Assam Accord, which talks about constitutional safeguard for the indigenous communities. Remember, the MHA had formed a high-level panel uh, which has sent its recommendation to centre in terms of how uh, the Clause 6, uh, which uh, looks at constitutional safeguard for the indigenous communities, can be implemented. But Recently, a powerful uh, BJP minister in Assam has said that, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, that uh, the recommendations are far from legal reality. That has created a lot of controversy. So already uh, right. the opposition as well as ASU kind of uh, uh, trying a drumbeat against unfulfilled promises, even as the prime minister is expected to speak about how the BJP government at centre and state had tried to protect the interest of the indigenous communities of Assam, which is the prime uh, plank, pole plank for the BJP in these elections.